Uh, today we are conducting uh, inspections in the 6th Councilmatic District with Gail Brewer. Uh, we did, conducted over 20 uh, lo inspections this morning. Majority of locations did pass inspection. In this particular location, we found that they had a CBD license, and behind the CBD license, they are selling illegal cannabis. There was a trap door in this particular location. After you go into the back, you find that they had a trap door that led into a hallway where apparently somebody was sitting there and passing product through. That's exactly how product comes out. Yeah, it's become a game of cat and mouse, and it basically it's, it's, it's just like any other type of criminal activity that you know, law enforcement has to prevent or respond to. Uh, we evolve, they evolve, and the cycle just keeps going. Um, you know, right now, you know, we actually found this very elaborate setup, which is fortunate, and uh, we just keep going day after day. They're labeled for California. So this is a, a, just another example of stuff not being regulated at all. So it's coming in illegally from California, and it's being sold here. These are pre-rolled joints, which the cannabis is actually ground and processed in the basement, which is just past that door. In that basement, there are actually several apartments where people are living in not very nice conditions. So this is a processing area where the employees of the store are uh, basically grinding the cannabis flour into you know, a product that's more fine, refined, as you can see here. And you can then wrap it in the rolling paper uh, which you can see they're actually, you know, when they left this, they were in the process of doing so. This bin here is filled with, you know, basically freshly ground flour already, and there's a scale laying right inside of it. So that's, again, this just goes to show that they're refining the product, they're weighing it out, and then they're going to roll it up in the wrapping uh, paper to make a joint. These are not hygienic conditions at all to be doing this, this type of work in, uh, which further highlights the dangers that, you know, having an unlicensed illicit cannabis shop presents. October! Uh, 23, we sent out a whole bunch of interns and we found uh, something like 63 that were uh, operating illegally in our district. And now we have two that are legal and many of them have been closed thanks to the sheriff, but this was a high priority. We have closed over 850 locations citywide. There's been over $70 million in civil penalties have been issued. Uh, we have another $40 million in illegal product that has been seized.